Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine Deconstruct, and I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. I'm sure most of you, or some of you, watched our video on Heplosav B, which is Dynavax's hepatitis B vaccine product. Now, when you watch that video, you can see me discussing the liver. I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail, because as a critical care pulmonologist, I have to understand the function of the liver in the ICU. I have to understand that the liver makes every protein in the body. I have to understand that the liver also makes sure our brain is clear, makes sure our kidneys are functioning appropriately, and metabolizes all of the medications that we use. More importantly, I have to pay attention if the liver is injured, whether it's injured by a virus or it's injured by lack of blood flow. We're gonna talk about that and a little bit more on today's video. at the liver as an organ. It has a tremendous amount of responsibility. Now the liver's responsibility is essentially to not only make every single protein in your body, but it's also supposed to manage your blood volume. It's also important in cholesterol and lipid metabolism. It's supposed to clean out everything that enters your food pipes, everything that enters your intestine, ends up traveling to the liver to get metabolized. It works in tandem with the kidney and the intestines to keep your body free and clear of a lot of different substances. So when your liver is chronically infected by something like hepatitis B, due to the presence of the inflammatory cells, you eventually get what we call an epithelial to mesenchymal transition and you start laying down collagen and scarring. And so when the liver gets scarred down, you develop cirrhosis. And so what types of things are you gonna see? You're not gonna recognize things. You're gonna be a little bit out of it. We call that hepatic encephalopathy. There's four grades of hepatic encephalopathy. Once you hit that grade four, you can develop cerebral edema, brain swelling, all as a result of your liver not functioning. You're going to develop bleeding episodes because your liver makes all of your proteins that are responsible for blood clotting. The liver makes complement. Remember I talked about complement before? It's like the Nerf balls of the immune system marking bad things. So people with liver disease and cirrhosis are immunocompromised. You're gonna have blood volume problems. You're gonna notice that people are gonna be swollen. They're gonna be holding on to all this fluid. One, because the liver's responsibility is managing that volume, but two, because the liver has a responsibility of making all those proteins. And when all those proteins aren't being made, that means what? What does it mean? Well, since your volume, your fluid doesn't sense that concentration, the fluid spills out in the third space and you get really swollen. You develop edema, you develop ascites. Ascites is fluid around the liver and around the spleen within your peritoneum. It's right next to your bowel. So that fluid can end up getting infected and we call that spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. And when that happens, that can cause a severe infection inside your entire body. The other thing it can lead to that most people don't think about or talk about is hepatocellular carcinoma. That's liver cancer. Due to the chronic inflammation of those hepatocytes, they can begin to grow abnormally. And that's hepatocellular carcinoma. That's a serious malignancy as well. And remember, the malignancy is taking up your liver. So it's just making your cirrhosis and your liver function worse. Those are the reasons that we have developed vaccination for hepatitis B. Please, I want you guys to go ahead and visit us again here on Medicine Deconstructed, where we arm you with information. Come back next time for some more ammunition.